Hi there, I'm back again. As promised, I've been I'm come to show you some of the collages I've made. Um, this one again, I was sticking to a couple of colours, so some greens and purples, and then layering with paint and stenciling stamps, and it's built up quite a nice um, layers, nice few layers. And I did a few of them, and I've made some cards out of the um, collages by just, you know, cutting up um, shapes and placing them on paper, some white card. And they've turned out quite nice. I haven't put any words on the, these, um, but as I did before... But I'm, I may do. They make lovely images. And they could be any type of cards to go in your journals, um, as um, to go in some pockets, or um, even just birthday cards or thank you cards, hello cards. I haven't heard from you from a, for a long time. <laughs> I like this. This is, reminds me of um, a sandy beach with the wooden poles sticking up. Um, that's what I like about collage is that you make with scraps of paper you can make a whole new image. Beautiful. So this one I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. Uh, but then I tried some, um, you know, using just sort of base colours, but just picking out some, um, you know, some different um, tints and hues. So I've more or less finished this one. I'm, I might add a couple of these stamps which go with the colour range there. And again, this is layered and white paint over the top. And then a bit of script uh, printing on on the edges there. So this one I'm probably going to use as a signature cover. So I'll um, bend that in half. I'm going to iron it first to make it nice and flat. And make sure the edges are stuck down. Because I've only just finished this one. There's some nice bits of... Uh, fabric on here as well. I could also stitch around there as well which would be quite nice. But I thought I'd just go through how I how I did this one. I, I've shown you how, how we produced this one on a previous video. So I've got some bits and pieces ready. Um, so I've torn some pieces out of um, some books and some forms I had, some old bird books with a music page. Um, I just sort of laid it out there just for you to see. But what I tend to do is um, ink up all the edges and tear around here so it's not quite so straight. And, um, and then I put the base pieces on and then paint over with white paint. So I'll go ahead and do that. I just want to show you the card I'm using. It's just an old file that I had. The other one was plain brown. This one's sort of a, an orangey shade, but quite old so I'm just going to cut this piece out and then I'll ink up the edges of the bits of paper and I'll come back then and show you how I stick them down so I'll, I'll go ahead and um, cut this piece out okay won't be long hi there right well I've been busy tearing out the bits and inking up the sides 
So now I'm just going to stick the base pieces onto the card and then I'll paint over those with a just a, a white colour. I just put some um, glue stick on this. It's going to have quite a lot of paint on it as well. It will soak through and glue it down. But inevitably you find little bits that you need to paste down again. So I probably want to use this as a signature cover. Um, so it's I haven't measured this but it's going to be in half there. I'll put a little mark there actually. So there. So that'll be the centre line. So this will be on the front of the signature and then this will be on the back. And then there'll be plenty of room on this side to do some more collage. So, make sure that's all down. And then I'll just stick this piece of old music paper, which is quite nicely aged all by itself. And I'll put that up there. And then this bit about there. I um I quite like using just A couple of colours on collage, and then you can you can add more colour by building up the layers if you want to. I think it's quite pleasing to the eye having just a these beige colours as well. But picking out a few a few of the hues and tints so that you know, this is going to complement that. But it's not going to increase the colour too much. Right, well I think that's enough of, for the base. I'm going to get the paint and paint over, it'll paint over most of this orange. I did last time put the, these leaves on um, and it brought out the, the veins quite nicely but I think I'm going to stick those on at the end just to try something different. Right, I'm just going to mix up my paint and I'll be back. Right, here we are again. It's a glorious afternoon out there, but absolutely freezing. So I'm glad I'm in here doing some crafting. I've just put some white poster paint in here, actually. I've had it for years. It still goes on okay. So I'm just going to... this right across here just to tone down that orange
so relaxing, isn't it, doing a little bit of crafting. Got all my jobs done this morning. I couldn't wait to get up here to do some collage. I wonder what it is about, it's just trying to produce something beautiful. I think it's amazing that we managed to do that from scraps. These are old books I've had for a long, long time. Look through them, enjoy them. And some bits of paper that probably have just gone out into the recycling. Alright, I'm just going to get my sponge now just to move that around a bit. These are just old makeup remover sponges, but uh, and they add a bit of mark making as well. Just pull out some of those areas so that they're not totally obscured. Okay, well I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I might put another layer on it. I'll see how it looks when it's dried. And then I'll be back. Okay, well that's almost dry. And for purposes of showing you, I don't want to run out of camera space. So I'm just going to stick these down now on top of the paint. I'm just using a glue stick again. Obviously with collage you have to cover up some of your images and it's just a matter of playing with the placement of things just to so that you're happy with it. May not be to everyone's taste, but as long as you're happy with it, then that's what art's all about, isn't it? I love having the natural shapes of plants and things against man-made lines and um, building up on those I think is gives you some interesting layers to look at. I'll probably do that on there. I'm going to place that little bird there and then to save you watching me glue everything down. I'll come back when I've placed everything and then show you the next stage. I've stuck everything down 
and place them where I wanted to. I put the leaves down. What I have to do with these leaves, they're very sort of um, fine. I mean, you can do this yourself with leaves. You just leave them and to dry, and then you can um, take off the green there, and it leaves the skeleton. But I, I did purchase these a long, long time ago. It must be 15 years ago. I've got a bag of them. So I thought I should use them up. Um, rather than paint them as I did on this piece, um, and you can see the outline rather nicely, I want it a little bit different. So I've placed them on top. And they're very delicate, so I tend to put glue on the card and then a Put a little bit of glue on the top just to keep them um, there, and they're, but they're, they are lovely. And I've taken a little bit of the paint away from here so that you can see the, I might take a little bit more from there, see the plant life coming through there. So now all that remains is a little bit of um, script on. I'm going to. Okay, here we are. I've got the script stamp loaded up. So I'm just going to randomly stamp here. We run. Back again for the final show. So I've finished the collage. So I've got two of these monochrome type collages. I think I'm going to use both for signature covers. Um, I'm not sure when I will make them, but I'm sure they'll inspire me to make something beautiful. So that's all for today. Um, I hope you like the video. I've got Alfie, my dog, up here now, sniffing around. And if I'm not careful, he's going to be chewing something. So I'll leave it all today and better take him out for a walk. But I'll be back soon and we'll get crafting together. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.